So hello guys welcome back to the channel and a lot of you guys are facing issue on this lab basically on the flow lock task. So no need to worry about it here is the updated solution for it. So first of all click on start lab and open the console in the incognito window. Now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel. Now here what you need to do is that you have to just click on I understand and just do the normal I agree and click on agree and continue then we'll be activating the cloud shell so let's move ahead here now it's time to activate the cloud shell so click on it and just click on continue and just authorize yourself so let me show you how we'll do continue and just authorize yourself now in the description box of this video i've shared one github repository check it out i just copy here and paste on the cloud shell now here basically sometimes the zone or region gets fetched automatically but if it asks to enter you have to do one thing just control f go back to the lab instruction and here you can find the zone here so just copy it from here basically here we have to update the zone only now this uh, uh, this command will take 10 to 15 minutes so you can wait for it also if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe it and like the video now after that we'll cover the prolog task which you are getting error so what you can do for it So finally after waiting for 5 to 10 minutes all tasks have been completed basically not all tasks that first task only now you have to click on the url here basically will be enabling the flow lock so let me show you how we'll do so first of all here you will see a default vpc so here what you have to do here you won't be able to edit the flow lock so for that you have to just move to the subnets let me show you how we'll do here you need to just click on this subnet so i will click here you have to click and for that you have to find the region i will find the region as you can see it's here us east 4 so you have to copy it carefully and just paste here and hit enter so as you can see here is the region you will click on it just edit it and as you can see here flow locks are already enabled so just click on on and then just save it and if you are unable to see these flow locks you can do one thing just restart the lab and try again and if you are still facing issue what you can do is just make sure to see the same region in which i have done this lab and complete accordingly now open the flow locks explorer and let's move ahead to the next steps so now let's explore it now you have to click on actions and just create a sync so i will share the complete tutorial because sometimes the sync also does not work so how will cover this part so once you have gone to this here you can see the name of the sync is flow log sample so just copy it carefully and just click on next and from here you have to just click on bigquery data set and for data set name copy the name carefully now once you have copied the name what you have to do wait a minute just click on create new big data set from here just enter the name no need to update the region as there is no instruction mentioned now click on create data set so it will take some time and then just click on next and just no modification needed so just click on create set it will take few seconds after that what you need to do we have to open the bigquery so for opening the bigquery what you need to do on the search box just search bigquery or just select from here so wait for it to open in the us flow logs here one query table will be shown that is compute 
opis i will show you in the later part of this lab actually it's not updated so sometimes what happens the data has not been loaded so how you can fix it here is a way what you can do basically we have to run this query but as this is not available as you can see compute vpc flows i have shown in the five number so what you can do let me show you what we have to do here to hit check my progress you will definitely not get the full score so you need to just wait for some time as you can see we did not get full score on this task so we have to just stimulate the traffic so now what you have to do go back to the logs explorer and just run the query once you have run the query just recreate the sync first you need to delete the sync so let me show you how we'll delete the sync go back to the log explorer from here what you need to open let me show you what you have to open you have to just open this log wait a minute log router you have to just click on log router and just as you can see at the bottom there is big query data set so you need to just delete it just select it and delete now wait for it to get deleted i am deleting because we have faced one issue of exporting that table so per particular table you need to just recreate it i don't know why the lab is little bit glitchy so for this we are doing this step so sometimes you may also not able to find the flow logs so for that what you need to do you can reach out to the chat support now copy the name of the sync here don't worry i will tell you how you have to reach out so just go back to the flow logs so here it's loaded now you have to just run the query again and just click on actions then click on create sync just follow the way i have done in the video and you will definitely get the score no need to worry about it until the lab is having actual issue now just next and select as we have already created the bigquery data set you will be able to select only so no need to recreate it now from here all things are fine just click on next and just create now the sync will surely get created and the logs have been updated as per running the query so now you will go back to the big query again here on the big query you have to just click on this and as you can see the data has still not been loaded just refresh the browser again here again try to view it wait for four to five minutes and try again just refresh the browser again of the bigquery tab now again you will be able to see here this yes as you can see the table has been loaded now here what you have to do you have to just click on this query just click on it and now go back to the lab instructions and just paste this one in the middle from select to from and just run it so as you can see it's done now we'll hit check my progress we'll definitely get the score but for the last task you need to wait for at least two to three minutes again because it takes time to update the score so you'll definitely get full score no need to worry about it now it's showing an error so what you can do to ease the process let's do this task again so as you can see this part has been done now you have to just update the pod 2 file go back to the cloud shell session and just paste over here like this and once you have done this wait a minute yes we have pasted it now just create delete the pod 2 file and just recreate it been deleted now create a new file so all these commands were present on the lab and we are done with the lab guys so thank you guys let's hit check my progress again and if you face issue like not getting full score no need to worry about it so just wait for some more time so if you haven't liked the video like it and do subscribe the channel 
so we have got 95 out of 100 let's refresh the browser again so this lab basically requires 20 20 20 to 25 minutes actually so you need to wait only so finally we 